Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like for you to forget about amusement parks. Because today, we are going to look at carousels. This is probably one of the best inventions of the internet. And they are incredible at wasting a lot of time. Most of us probably know carousels from apps like TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. There's probably a lot more, but you, you, you get the drift. A carousel is a great way to captivate your audience and have them click on the right button a lot of times or scroll, whatever. Um, but they, they're, they're actually really cool. And today I'm going to show you how you create one because it's actually pretty easy. So the, um, if you're in the toddle, um, workspace or editor, you can click on like a div, any div or any element that you want a carousel in click E or you can click on the plus button up here. Same thing happens. And then you can search for carousel. And what you quickly figure out is that there's no carousel. And that kind of sucks because you really, like this whole lesson was set up so that we could talk about carousels. But there is a new thing where you can click on install packages out in your sidebar and then you can search for carousel. So why does it show up here? Because there's a ton of people who are building packages for Toddle today. And one of them is a car carousel. And what you do is you install the package and then you wait and it's, oh, it kind of looks like it's installed. So let's go back to our homepage and have a look and click the div again. We're going to click E again, and then we're going to search for carousel again. And then two items pop up, but hey, what, how, what? This is a package. So the package contains two elements. The carousel package contains two elements. Others might contain a lot more. Um, but here you have a main element and you have a slide element. The main element is where everything is that you need in terms of like the, the, the arrows to go left and right. And the slide element is just like the content that you want in there. And you can put in text, you can put in images, buttons, whatever tickles your fancy. But first we're going to start with carousel element. So we're going to click that. And then you see, oh, there is something on the canvas, but it's empty. And we kind of need a carousel to have content. Otherwise we can't waste our time, which would be horrible, awful. We don't want that. So we're going to click on carousel main E carousel again, insert a slide. And then the slide shows up except there's nothing in it. That's because the slide is a slot and it requires content. And you can fill this slide in many ways. One is you could click E, write card, and then a card pops up. But we don't want to do that today. Today we want to do something much more fun. The other thing that you could do is you could hook, let's say you have a database of all the elephant species in the world with images of them with hats on. You could hook up to um, that database, create basically like an image, and then um, you could create a, a repeat item that says, hey, like I want you to pull all of the images and then I want you to present them in the slider. We're also not gonna do that today. Today we're gonna like do something semi-serious. So I'm gonna click this image. I already added it. And then I'm going to add an image. And I'm thinking we could do a slider with cool cats today. So I'm gonna let the image load. It's loaded. There's an image here. I'm gonna go into test mode. As you can see, nothing happens. I can't like I can't do anything. That's kind of boring. So what we want to do is we want to add more content. So for every slide, unless you're doing a repeat item, you need to like add it in manually. So like for carousel, you click on carousel main and then you paste it in. And the way that I've been copying and pasting, I just click the element, command C or control C, whether it depends on 
if you're on a Windows or, or a Mac, and then Command V, and like I click the item and Command V. Um, I want more pictures because with two, it kind of like it it doesn't take up the the whole space, so it, it, you don't really need a carousel for this. But let's say you want five images of cool cats. Um, first, I'm going to change this image. Then I'm going to put in cool cat number. Are we on number two? I think so. Yeah. And, wait, oh. Cool cat eating an ice cream. We're going to go to carousel. I'm going to add in, let's do five. So we've got three, four, five. Number three, I'm going to upload another image. I'm doing it this way because I, I you know, don't want to mess around with any APIs yet, but it is actually extremely powerful if you pull data from somewhere and show it in this way. But I'm going to do cat number four, wait for it to load, duck, 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 duck. And I'm going to do it for cat number five and wait for it to load, da, 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 da. magic. Um, and now you can see that there's a lot of cats here. I go into test mode, click T, and then I can click on this button and boom, you can kind of slide between the different cats. And what's even cooler is if you hover your mouse over and you scroll, then it'll scroll from side to side, which is great. And that's kind of what you want a carousel to do. And this one is very easy to build with because it's already made. So you don't have to sit and uh, create a carousel for, from scratch. You just pull it in. Um, and you can build these packages yourself if you want. It's very easy. You just go in like you would for um, any other project. And you instead of clicking add new project, you add a package. Um, but if you want other things, you can just like click on the packages. You can sort by popular, newest, installed. Here I only have one installed. If I don't want it installed anymore, I just uninstall it. But I kind of do want it installed because, you know, I'm using it and I would be very sad without these cats. So, um, I'm going to install it again. And here you go. You can publish it. And that's really all you need to do.